our kablam, a mostly peaceful stabbing occurred, what, last week on Black Friday, BLM, Black Lives Matter Friday, of course, and Derek Chauvin was knifed 22 times. I'm sure you heard about it. It was very interesting that it happened on Black Friday. People were saying, is that a thing? Is that like a, is that like a, the dog whistle thing is more of a lefty, I don't know, aspect. But uh, he's uh, stabbed 22 times. <laughs> uh, Jay Leno. Stabbed 22 times on Black Friday. Maybe it was a message. Oh, no, it was a message. Here you go. You've got John Turk. Tursk. Turskak. 52, boys. He's been charged with attempted murder in the prison stabbing of Derek Chauvin, who was moved to this federal penitentiary for his safety. Oh, I'm sure that won't come back up. That happens all the time. People are constantly moved to the suicide prevention wing of federal penitentiaries where all of the cameras suddenly go out and a dude who's been arrested twice for human trafficking, yet we haven't arrested any people that he trafficked people to, commit suicide with toilet paper, Abe. Oh, wait, that don't make any fucking sense. Oh, they moved him here to be killed. Allegedly, we'll say. Anyway, uh, Turk Skak stabbed Chauvin 22 times with an improvised knife. And he's telling people that he did it on Black Friday because he's an ardent supporter of Black Lives Matter. It was a message. This is from the dude who stabbed Derek Chauvin. Wanted to send a message of solidarity to the esteemed group of Black Lives Matter who have destroyed black communities, killed a couple dozen black people, and have annihilated billions of dollars worth of businesses. But they care so much about black people. Well, anyway, this black... Oh, he's not black. That's weird. This guy who loves Black Lives Matter so much that he was interested in killing Derek Chauvin on Black Friday for Black Lives Matter is a Mexican national? Get the fuck out of here. Now you get out of here, George. By the way, he's a member of the Mexican Mafia who was working with the FBI. Get the fuck out of here. So... Just so I have all the pieces together, because I'm no Columbo over here. Just one more question. Um, a Mexican national from the Mexican mafia who loves Black Lives Matter so much felt the deep duty to knife Derek Chauvin to death on Black Friday after Chauvin had been moved to this federal penitentiary for his own protection. And the dude who carried this out was an FBI asset. Yep. They tried to kill him. They do. He tried to kill him. They tried to kill Derek Chauvin. And by them, I'm not talking about the fucking Mexican mafia. I'm not talking about John Terskak over here. This guy's he's just uh, he's just an instrument, an implementation of the far reach of these lizard people who put Derek Chauvin into a death sentence. They're just assassinating him and trying to pretend like it's just some sort of prison fight over motherfucking Jello or something. No, 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 no. This was a hit. If this wasn't a hit, that's a staggering amount of just circumstances all falling into line together that benefit all the right shitbag Washington, D.C. criminals who pushed forward this op. This is a psychological op. George Floyd clearly died of fentanyl. All those cops were, um, were thrown to the wolves as a pretense for letting Black Lives Matter and Antifa set this entire fucking country on fire in order to stoke racial animus and to create more violence and chaos during an election cycle so that the most sh totally sh strong, safe, Effective, legitimate election of all time could be carried out. Get the fuck out of here. Anyway, he's a loose end, and so they had to kill him. So they used a dude from the Mexican mafia who loved Black Lives Matter so much, who was a previous undercover FBI informant, to then stab to death Derek Chauvin after he had been moved into this penitentiary. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> that's crazy. That's all too stupid to be stupid. But that's where we're at. That's where we're at. I expect... The Arkan sides and the prison sides and the false flag sides, I expect all of these to continue to grow as we move closer and closer 
to this fucking election. This is going to be an election cycle to remember. If you thought 2020, if you thought 2020 was clown world, well, wait till you see this clown world and back country converge. It's going to be crazy, boys, and we can't stop here. And thanks so much for watching the video, the supporting channel. You know, we kept to date with the Department of Justice, the FBI, the Biden administration, the globalists, the DNC, even the RNC, all working together to kill loose ends. Seth Rich, boys, hit that subscribe button and make way, because the salt must flow.